In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 best places to visit in Italy. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. This boot-shaped country in Southern Europe is one of the most popular travel destinations in the world for a variety of reasons, including art gems, charming cities, enthusiastic people, and world-class cuisine. It's a destination where you can see some of the world's most famous sites, including the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Colosseum, and the Trevi Fountain, to name a few. There are opportunities to see well-known Renaissance masterpieces as well as shop for high-end fashion. Italy has a magnificently diverse selection of sumptuous natural scenery to sell, as well as countless opportunities to get out in nature. Incredible scenery and fantastic hiking routes can be found in Cinque Terre, Sardinia, and the Dolomites. Here are the 10 best places to visit in Italy. 10. Pisa. The city of Pisa, located along the Arno River in Tuscany's northwestern area, still bears the striking traces of its former glory days as a trading empire during the Middle Ages. Although the Leaning Tower is a must-see, visiting this city solely to photograph its most famous landmark is akin to just seeing one tree and missing the entire forest. Pisa is much more than its famous Leaning Tower. The Campo dei Miracoli, or Field of Miracles, surrounds the famous landmark and is one of Italy's most beautiful squares. The Duomo Cathedral, Baptistry, and Camposanto Monument, all of which contain marble elements, sculptures, frescoes, and historic artifacts, are magnificent examples of Italian Renaissance architecture. Various shops selling souvenirs and bakeries selling delicious biscotti can be found in the plaza. 9. Italian Lake District. Northern Italy is home to the Italian Lake District. The southern ends of most of the lakes are relatively level, but the northern ends, which reach deep into the Alps, are mountainous. The Italian lakes have been a popular tourist destination for over a century, combining pleasant weather with beautiful scenery. Lake Maggiore, which begins in the west and ends in the east, is a small lake renowned for its lush vegetation and picturesque islands. The 40-mile-long lake stretches into the canton of Ticino in southern Switzerland and is located on the southern side of the Alps. Azola Bella, a charming island renowned for its royal palace and immaculate gardens, is the island's most popular attraction. Lake Como is renowned for its luxurious, dramatic setting and extravagant Renaissance villas, which cater to celebrities, royals, and wealthy tourists. Bellagio, a charming town with cobblestone streets and brightly colored mansions, is situated in the center of the lake. 8. Sicily. Sicily, the Mediterranean's largest island, is located just across the narrow strait of Messina from Italy's southern tip. It has long served as a crossroads due to its location, and its history, culture, and cuisine set it apart from the rest of the world. Palermo, Sicily's capital and largest city, is the best example of this, having been built more than 2,700 years ago. Since then, it has been ruled by a variety of civilizations, including the Phoenicians, Romans, Arabs, and Normans, each leaving behind artistic and architectural riches as well as culinary influences. Furthermore, the island is home to a plethora of significant archaeological sites, which have become some of Sicily's most popular tourist attractions. The ancient Greeks constructed the impressive ruins of Tormina's ancient theater and the age-old edifices in the Valley of the Temples. Others, such as Eris's mountaintop castles, were built in medieval times. 7. Siena. With its well-preserved historic center and medieval horse racing heritage, commonly known as Il Palio, Siena offers visitors a journey back into the Middle Ages in the heart of Tuscany. The historic center of Siena, once a prosperous city, is now one of the most famous places to visit in Italy, as it still houses many of the period's beautiful works of art and architecture. The Piazza del Campo in Siena is regarded as one of Europe's finest medieval squares. The Fountain of Joy, the Palazzo Publico, and the Manja Tower are among the architectural jewels in this fan-shaped plaza. The Duomo, a stunning black and white Italian Romanesque cathedral with beautiful features such as marble floors, stained glass, sculptures, paintings, and carvings, is another of Siena's architectural jewels. The piazza is also a perfect place to unwind, people watch, and try local delicacies such as wine, coffee, pizza, focaccia, and gelato. 6. Cinque Terre 
Five charming fishing villages, all awash in blue, yellow, and pink, hug the cliff faces that lead down to the sea. The Cinque Terre National Park, which includes these villages and the surrounding green hills, is one of Italy's most popular tourist destinations. The villages of Cinque Terre are located in Liguria, Italy's northwest coastal area, and feature some of the country's most beautiful landscapes, including wine terraces dating back hundreds of years. Cinque Terre, which translates to five lands, is made up of the five villages of Rio Maggiore, Monarola, Vernazza, Monterosso, and Cornelia. Rio Maggiore has a medieval castle and Via Colombo, a busy main street, while Monarola has colorful vessels, swimming holes, and caves. Vernazza, surrounded by olive groves, has a vibrant nightlife scene. Monterosso's stunning beach is lined with resorts, while Cornelia is adorned with sloping vineyards. The Cinque Terre villages, which are rich in agriculture and fishing, are teeming with cafes and trattorias serving locally produced wine, olives, cheeses, pasta, seafood, and homemade breads. 5. Amalfi Coast The Amalfi Coast, located in Italy's southwestern region of Campania, is renowned for its stunning beauty, making it one of the country's most popular tourist destinations. The Amalfi Coast, which stretches 30 miles along the southern side of the Sorrento Peninsula, is known for its beautiful scenery, which includes shimmering bays, craggy cliffs, lemon tree parks, multicolored villas, and ritzy resorts. Positano is one of the most charming and posh towns on the Amalfi Coast, with stunning pebbled beaches, pastel homes, scenic mountains, waterfalls, and a 13th-century Black Madonna among its many attractions. 4. Pompeii Pompeii, one of Italy's most popular tourist destinations, is a famous Roman city that was buried under several feet of volcanic ash for nearly 1,700 years following Mount Vesuvius' cataclysmic eruption. Pompeii excavation started in 1748, and the site has yet to be fully uncovered. The site is close to Naples, which is a modern city. A tour of Pompeii provides a fascinating glimpse into daily life in ancient Rome. Visitors will wander through the ancient streets and see the ruins of shops, pubs, bakeries, brothels, baths, and residential homes, as well as commercial and religious buildings. The amphitheater, the forum, the temple of Apollo, the basilica, and the granary market, which houses a large number of objects and plaster casts of people and dogs who died in the disaster, are among the most important buildings. There are several artworks and frescoes portraying erotica, mythological figures, and hunting scenes within the architecture of Pompeii's ancient buildings. 3. Venice Venice, one of Italy's most popular tourist destinations, is unusual in that it is founded on a lagoon surrounded by the Adriatic Sea. Venice is an archipelago of 118 islands linked by hundreds of beautiful bridges and scenic canals in northeastern Italy. The Grand Canal is the most prominent of the canals, and it divides the city into two parts. Venice is one of the most romantic cities in the world, thanks to its stunning waterways and historic architecture. Venetian attractions such as St. Mark's Square and Basilica, the Doge's Palace, and the Rialto Bridge are often crowded and pricey, but they are well worth seeing. A gondola ride along the Grand Canal is one of the most common things to do in Venice. Riding a Vaporetti along the quiet back canals, on the other hand, is just as fun. 2. Florence Because of its abundance of art and architectural gems, Florence, the capital of Tuscany, is sometimes referred to as a colossal outdoor museum. Florence is recognized around the world as the birthplace of the Italian Renaissance. It is also credited with the birth of many artists, inventors, authors, scientists, and explorers, as well as the invention of opera and the Florin currency which helped Europe recover from the Dark Ages. Florence is also known as the birthplace of the wealthy and influential Medici dynasty, which produced many kings and popes and had a cultural, economic, and political influence on the entire world. Florence's treasure trove of art masterpieces can be found throughout the region, in museums, stunning churches such as the Dome Santa Maria del Fiore, and internationally renowned art galleries such as the Uffizi and Pitti Palace. Beautiful buildings and world-famous sculptures, such as Cellini's Perseus with the head of Medusa, Amanati's Fountain of Neptune, and Michelangelo's Statue of David, can be found in the Piazza della Signoria, the city's main square. 1. Rome Rome, once the capital of the Roman Empire, is now the seat of the Italian government and the country's capital. 
Rome is a large and diverse city in the country's central region of Lazio that is both historic and modern at the same time. Rome has been an important center for culture, power, and religion for over 2,500 years, and is best known for housing ancient Roman structures and the Vatican City. The Colosseum, the Forum of Augustus, Capitoline Hill, and the Roman Forum are all located in the Colosseo district, which is the city's heart. The Pantheon, as well as beautiful cathedrals, plazas, and Renaissance architecture, can be found on the outskirts of the city. St. Peter's Basilica, the Apostolic Palace, and the Sistine Chapel are all well-known attractions at the Vatican. So that's it for today's video. What do you think of our list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell before you go. Thanks for watching.